further violence will serve no purpose. Please, surrender. This isn't over. I am Lieutenant Mario L. Kenny of the Pangalactic Federation. You are under arrest for violation of the Underdeveloped Planet Preservation Pact. Friend of yours? Yeah, real good friend. She's from the Astoria, the one that destroyed my ship. Would you mind telling us whence you hail? I'm from another world. One that's far, far away in the sky. And I was forced to flee here. The Kingdom of Osirius and the Veal Empire are on the verge of war. An unidentified developed planet holds some malevolent sway over Aster IV. Your efforts on that front will be in vain. I am not one to slink away in fear while my allies are in peril. They command all manner of monstrous abominations. It is plain to see the Empire's armaments have undergone a drastic change. We are taking massive fire from the Empire's naval battalion! As long as the Empire wields their power, the Kingdom is doomed. You tell me the Feds are in cahoots with the Empire? We do this for the Pangalactic Federation, for universal peace and prosperity. Surely a Kenny would understand. I hope to have you all at my side, in the fight to come. You will give chase, even into the sea of stars above? I will avenge you. Being free of gravity's shackles ought to be fun. What, why am I upside down? What is this? Every aspect of life here is like another world. No, no, another dimension. Our home was subtly, yet irreversibly, infiltrated by Scorpion. Everything is in such chaos at present. It is nigh impossible to discern friend from foe. I swear to you that all I speak here is absolutely true, including the fact that I came here to help. What is this bull? We have no sufficient proof that this ragtag band that follows you are not, in actuality, Imperial spies. I have a proposal, though I'm sure you'll reject it. We should take our leave of Leticia and the others. <laughs> you think that thing's dead, don't you? I doubt you understand. This is clearly beyond your kin. Those were no human. The evolution of humanoid races, huh? A monstrous invader that transforms people into something they are not. I would rather prefer death than allowing such a thing come to pass. From our perspective, that person would no longer be human. But the soul remains the same. Dearest Leticia, I am sorry you must see your companion suffer so. What is wrong with you? You would truly condemn Her Highness, Letty, to death? Ronix J. Kenny set foot on the Forbidden Planet Sticks. Claude C. Kenny violated your precious pact. As a result, our studies of symbometrics expanded greatly. History has proven that the law must be broken at times to move worlds forward. His heart is consumed with hatred and malice. Why do they arm themselves? Why do they fight? I ventured beyond the point of no return. Nothing more. Our aim is not to take life, but do not hesitate. Loyal Knights of Osirius, follow after Her Highness, Leticia Osirius! What reason have I to escape? I am come firm in my resolve. Yep, you got that right. A lot can be done to stand against the menace, to defy them. Madness. It's your Federation tech that's about to kill this underdeveloped planet's king! This old misfortune now serves as savior, both to you and your kingdom. Come, rise from your despair. I swear on my life. It is over! The Empire is... This is merely the beginning. They have long since passed the point of reason. We are to right their misdeeds. 
we must fight. This is evolution. The greatest evolution in the cosmos. They dwell amongst the stars. Know that I wish for nothing more than peace and happiness for you all as well. Come, 